in this video you will learn how to create a ROS to service server and service client in C++. We'll also step by step explain the code involved in it. First, make a folder named ROS2 underscore WS. Then inside it, make a folder named SRC. Now open Terminator and I'll split the screen into some parts. Then navigate to the SRC folder. Here we'll create a package. So just type ROS2 PKG and create. Then uh, specify the build type. So just press double tap and then amend CMake. So it will be a CMake package. Then we'll give package name cpp underscore service. Just press enter. And here you can observe we have created uh, the package name cpp service with the default settings. Now we'll make a service server. Just open text editor. We'll save this file empty file to the src cpp service then src. Uh, we'll give it name cpp underscore ser underscore polar so it will be a server similarly we will create a client file we'll just copy it and we'll rename it to cpp cli polar dot cpp and save it now open github and search ROS2 basics. Here just select this link ROS tutorial ROS2 basics and then click on this CPP service go to inside SRC and open cpp service this file ser polar firstly we'll understand this uh, code so this maths.h because we will be using some maths function then this memory so this header is a part of dynamic memory management library then this rcl cpp then this header file because we will be using service of type spawn then we have this class named minimal uh, server and inside this constructor we create a node named cpp ser polar node then we create this service of type spawn then the name of the service polar coordinate and here we are binding it to this function send response message function so you can observe this function here now inside this function we have to pass the arguments request message and re uh, response message and then with the help of the request message uh, we create a hypotenuse using them with the square root of the x value and y value and the angle so that's why we use a tan function so tan inverse of y by x and then uh, re uh, request message name will be written on the request response message name then we have this rcl info so we print it in the console this uh, a and b value then inside the int main this rcl cpp uh, init initializes ros2 this spin will start processing the data from the node including callbacks from timer so just copy this code
and paste it in the this file save it similarly open the client so here you can observe that this code is mostly same uh we are not using class this time like we create a client uh this is the node name then we send the request this x y value x y and theta value then this while loop gives client 1 second to uh, search for the service node in the network we we'll just copy this file and paste it in the client file now open a uh, package.xml in this github so open this package.xml of our uh, package keep it always on top and uh, we have to specify these two lines because our package is dependent on this rcl cpp package and the turtle sim package because we are using a service of turtle sim package so that's why it's dependent on turtle sim then save it uh open cmake list.txt of our package and open cmake list.txt in this github page and similarly we need to copy these two lines so these uh, two packages are required rcl cpp and turtle sim then we need to uh, add this line to add the executables and so that uh, our ros2 can find those executable just paste it So here we set this dependency to this package then this is the executable name and this is the path this is the executable name and this is the path and this ins this install and uh, just save it and we'll close it open the terminator now navigate to the ros2 works ros2_ws directory and type call con build Now our sub package is successfully built. Now we need to source it. So in this terminal, just navigate to the ROS2 workspace uh, directory and type source install setup dot bash. Do the same thing in this terminal. So navigate to ROS2 underscore ws. Then type source. install setup.bash and now we will run our ser uh, server so just type ros2 run then the package name cpp service then the executable so we will launch the server cpp ser polar so we have launched uh, our server now we need to call the client so just uh, type ros2 run cpp service then cpp underscore cli let's press enter so we have passed this x coordinate uh, 5 and y coordinate 5 and and we got the response success and here you can observe that the response section we got this polar Co uh, coordinate seven and the angular coordinate forty five degree. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you like this video and learn something new. If you like this video, 
please give us like and subscribe to our channel and keep learning